Bedtime Story Our story for today is about Little Owie, the Yes Dragon. Little Owie loves saying yes to others, especially his friends. But is it always good to say yes? Little Owie, the dragon, told that yes was a lovely word. Little Owie, will you give me your lunch? asked his friend Charo. Charo had forgotten his lunch at school that day. Charo seemed to forget his lunch every day, but Choro never seemed to remember because little Owe would just say Yes, yes, you can have my lunch, Choro, said little Owe. Choro was his best friend in the world and he didn't want Choro to go hungry. Even if little Owe felt hungry, he could hear his tummy numbling all afternoon. But it's okay, thought little Owe. I can just have some food when I get home. When he got home, little Owe had a nice piece of bread and a big drink of water. Then, he did all his homework for that afternoon. Little Dragon studied fire breathing, crystal polishing, and knitting. As he looked out the window, he saw Choro playing with a bright bouncy ball. Why are you doing your homework? shouted Choro from the street. It's so nice out here. The sun is out. If I don't do my homework, I won't be able to polish crystals well, said little Owe. And also, it's due tomorrow. Yeah, said Choro, and he stuck out his tongue. He was really very nice and didn't mean it badly. He just meant that he didn't understand. Little Owie went back to studying. The next morning, the teacher asked everyone for their polished crystals. Charo didn't have any. Little Owie, he whispered. Give me your crystals, little Owie paused. He didn't want to give Choro his crystals. If he gave Choro his crystals, little Owie wouldn't have any to hunt in. Come on, whispered Choro. More urgently, the teacher's coming. Well, little Owe was a dragon who liked to say yes. Yes, Choro, he said, but he said it a little sadly. He couldn't help it. Choro grabbed the polished crystals and handed them happily to the teacher. The teacher came to little Owie's desk. Where are your crystals, little Owie? She asked. Little Owie didn't know what to say. A big tear plopped out of his long dragon lashes. Then, little Owie whispered, 
I give them to Choro. The teacher looked surprised. She took little Owe to a special talking room where they could talk alone. Why did you give them to Choro? She asked. Because he asked me to, said little Owe, and I'm a kind dragon. If someone needs my help, I should say yes. The teacher smiled gently and shook her head. Being kind is two things. Yes, it is being kind to others, but it is also being kind to yourself. Why did you decide to give Choro your homework? Because if he didn't have it, he would have no homework to give you, and he would feel bad. But now you have no homework, and you feel bad. Isn't that right? Little Owen nodded. But one of us had to feel bad. I guess it should be me. No, little Owie, said the teacher. It is good to be kind, but you must try to be kind to yourself first and only say yes to things that you know you are happy to give. The most important thing is that your heart say yes. Do you understand? Little Owie understood very well. Now, little Owie knows that while it is nice to say yes, he can also say no. Little Owie, can we play a game of catch together? Yes, Choro. Little Owie, let's jump out and scare the teacher when she walks past. No, Choro, I don't want to do that. And... Little Owie now knows that the only thing that matters is that deep inside, whatever he says to others, his heart is saying yes. <laughs>